Prosecutors are laying out their case against Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price and Monday marks the third week of testimony in the trial. Witness after witness has testified they bribed the veteran commissioner to get business contracts with the county. Victor Vidal is a white collar attorney. He's not directly involved in this case, but he is watching each development. And it's good to see you again, Victor. Good morning. How's the scorecard look right now? Who's winning so far? I know the prosecution is still laying out its case. The prosecution should be winning in every single case they try when they're in their case in chief. I will tell you, uh, they're winning because they're making their case and they're putting on their evidence. Have they persuaded the jury? I'm not quite certain. Are they as far ahead as they should be in a case like this? I don't know. Um, What's the problem? There's no smoking gun. Uh, that's the issue. You don't have any wiretaps. You don't have any uh, informing defendants who wore body wires, etc., so that we hear what's coming out the horse's mouth. So uh, they're really the government's relying on inference. Uh, what were these payments going back and forth for? Now. Uh, does it look incriminating? Certainly. You have payments going to price proximate to votes that he made uh, where Kathy Neely had contracts, but the defense has poked some holes about what those payments were about. And, and witness after witness, as you said, has <clears throat> testified they bribed the commissioner. Is, is that not enough, you don't think? Well, it's to? not really witness after witness. Uh, we saw Karen Manning take the stand before Christian Campbell, and I think that may have been a misstep by the government starting off the second week uh, with uh, testimony from somebody who was not as strong as Christian Campbell was. And uh, tell us who Christian Campbell was. So, so Christian Campbell uh, worked with Kathy Neely and testified in the case in essence that he believed that the payments were for uh, bribery uh, of the commissioner regarding contracts that he and Kathy Neely were working on. but. Uh, on cross-examination, I think there was some question about if he really knew what the transactions or the payments were for. Victor, you said no smoking gun yet. Anything, anything unexpected so far? Uh, yes. I mean, K Karen uh, Manning testified uh, before um, Christian Campbell. She was another person who was charged and she pled guilty like Christian Campbell did. She took the stand and we were underwhelmed by her testimony. So the government calls her uh, a pleading defendant in their case as their lead witness to start the work week. We're thinking we're going to see fireworks. And what we saw is what I've uh, termed uh, Karen can't recall Manning uh, because every word out of her mouth it seemed like was I can't recall. You, you said no wiretaps, uh, questionable uh, as far as the witnesses have gone according, according to you as well too. Has any of this changed the commissioner's defense? Uh, not necessarily. I think that the lawyers uh, really had a plan that they're executing on uh, to knock holes in the case, create reasonable doubt about what the payments were for. Uh, I think they're benefiting from uh, the fact that there are no wiretaps and smoking guns and uh, they're gonna make their case through cross-examination. Whether John Wally Price testifies is a different matter. Uh, but you think this, he will? Uh, you know what, uh, I, I told uh, uh, Brett Shipp uh, previously that I don't think politicians can help themselves. I think they just think they're so persuasive and they should get up and talk rather than relying on their lawyers to poke holes in the case. That being said, I think we could see him testify. And uh, should he testify is a different question. Sounds good. Victor, we'll be watching to see how this thing goes. It's going to go for a few more months before it wraps up anyways. Right. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. You bet.